All right, we are here with the head coach of the Grapeland Sandys, Coach Jordan Wood. Coach, how are you doing today? I'm doing well. How are you? I'm doing well. I'm doing well. Let's talk a little bit about last year. Uh, two and eight overall uh, record, one and five in district play. Uh, not the not the season that the Sandys were looking for. Uh, what are your thoughts on on last year? So, uh, well, we had a really tough district and a tough schedule, and and uh, we we got beat up early in the year and stayed beat up and. Uh, we expected to be a lot better and much more improved. With that being said, we played some good teams that, that earned those wins, um, but we still expected better. And um, but it made us better because we were young last year. They got a lot of experience going into this next year, which is really good. Um, but it was not what we wanted. It's not what we expected. And so uh, we we had to work hard and bounce back from it. And our kids did a good job with the right mentality of, of going to work to get better. And I don't know how much you how much stock you take into seven on seven, but we spoke over the summer about Grapeland going to the state tournament in seven on seven. How much do you think that will, will help the team going into this next year? Um, it, it was great for them as far as competing, but uh, when you put on pads, it's different. Um, our kids have competed well um, all, all last year, um, basketball, baseball track. We ran really well, um, worked really hard in the weight room and just competed. And so that was our biggest takeaway from it was let's go compete. And they got a lot of confidence from it, too, because we played really well against some really well teams. And, uh, and so we got some confidence going in. We got to carry into this fall and, and keep going. And so I don't put a lot of stock into it as far as uh, wins and losses coming the football season, but it's great to prepare the kids as far as the competitiveness. And, uh, and we had some kids grow up that that's going to help them a lot come football season, not necessarily comparing how well we did as far as win, loss, and scores and things like that. But as far as kids growing up and competing, it was it was huge for us. And let's let's talk about the district. We you kind of spoke on it with Timson and Garrison in there last year. A really tough district. You dropped down a level to Division Two, but you still got Overton in there, Tina Hall, Love Lady. So what are what are your thoughts on this new district that you got dropped into? I, I love it. So our district is is one of the best in uh, in small two A, but uh, we're excited about it just because um, our kids that had been playing since they were freshmen are now juniors. And then all those kids that started as sophomores are now seniors. So, so we're, we're upperclassmen this year. Um, we dropped a division and um, these are good football teams. Um, I, I wouldn't compare them to Timson and Garrison though, but they're good football teams. And so we're really excited about the opportunity. Now that our guys are, are one year older, they've been competing well, they've been working hard. And um, we got a great balance on, on our team as far as size and speed and strength. But we do have some inexperience, too, of, of some young guys having to step up and play. And so let's talk about it. What are your expectations this year? What are you, what are you looking for? I know we've talked about how the, the kids are competing and, and how they're growing and more experienced. So what are you expecting to see this year out of them? Um, well, we, we don't know what to expect, but we're extremely excited because we're having a great fall camp so far. Um, this is day five, going into day five today. and. Um, we are on week six and seven from last year right now because it's our, our fourth year here. Our kids really know what's going on as far as our upperclassmen and our varsity guys, and they're putting it all together. And we're we're uh, we know our stuff. We're executing well. We're really excited. Um, our biggest thing is we got to stay healthy and we got to keep our legs underneath us. Um, and if we can do that, um, I can't tell you what our expectations are because I'm not going to limit these guys and. Uh, and they're getting better every day. Their focus is better than I've seen um, in the last three years. Uh, practice are better than they have been in the last three years. Um, they finally grew up and started to put it together. So uh, it's hard for me to, to tell you any type of expectation. It's up to them because they're the ones doing the work and they're the ones answering the call every day. So I expect them to be su super successful because they earned it. I love that answer. I'm not going to give you any expectations because I don't want to limit their expectations. That's that. I'm going to I'm going to steal that if you don't mind. All right. I don't mind at all. <laughs> all right, Coach. Hey, Coach Wood. Thank you so much for talking to us this morning. Best of luck to Grapeland this season, and we will talk to you down the road. Yes, sir. Thank you. All right. Thanks, Coach.